Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are healing hearty, you all are fit and fine. My name is Sanya Sharma and I welcome you all to the PW Gulf in the Succeed Ultimate Recap Batch for Class 9th. Today we are going to start the last topic of political science that is democratic rights. Very easy chapter and I know a lot of students might not be you know having this particular chapter in your exams but it is very easy and a very general chapter for the concept clarity which actually sets your base for class 10th. Let's get started without wasting any time and we'll have a very crisp and a very short summary of the entire chapter in one shot. Let's get started. Alright, so when we talk about democratic rights, first of all we need to understand why do we need rights in a democracy. So when why do we need rights? First of all, what is democracy? Democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people, right? And this type of government is different from the other forms of government like monarchy, dictatorship and any other non-democratic government. But here it is very, very, very essential to, to give rights and to have rights and to give rights to a lot of people because ultimately democratic government is also known as people's own government. Right. So first of all, we need to understand three cases of denial of rights. When we understand a life without rights and this, these cases basically we have done in the Guantanamo Bay by the US. Now what happened in the Guantanamo Bay as you all know if you have done the chapter, I will explain you in a very brief format whereby all from all over the world people were you know uh, taken and almost 600 people were put into Guantanamo Bay. You know it is a jail. And why they were put into this jail? Because they were suspicious. They were, uh, you know, P these people had, US government had suspicious that they were involved in the 9-11 act. So 9-11 act again was whereby, you know, the, uh, their, uh, the entire, it was attacked by the, you know, terrorists. It is said that. And because of this, it was said that all these people are somewhat, they were involved in this 9-11 act. Okay. Because of this act, a lot of people, you know, from all over the world, they did not know what will happen with them. So they were put in jail and a lot of, you know, exploitation happened. This actually is taking a basic right from them that is right to live, right to life. And a lot of people, this 600 people were actually were not given any access to, you know, uh, justify themselves. So again, this is a case whereby a very big case in history whereby people did not have the basic right to life or a basic right to justify themselves. Whereby when we understand that rights were not given to them, when we understand this absence of right, we understand the value of rights. We understand the value of, you know, uh, these claims which we can take from our government. Second was in Kosovo by Milosevic government. Now here by again there were two types of we can say ethnicities. Okay. And one was the you know in majority and the other was in minority. So the majority one wants to you know just wipe out the entire ethnicity of the minority community. And this is again not justified. How can a majority community, again this is majoritarianism, how can a majority community just why, you know, they really wanted to wipe out uh, by doing a lot of exploitation, by a lot of violation and a lot of things which is again leading to violence. Again, right to life, it is taken away from the people. The third example is denial of rights in Saudi Arabia. Now this is again a very, uh, we can say, uh, this was in history, things are not like that now, okay, things have changed and hereby uh, equality, whereby when we are giving rights to people, when we are giving uh, voting rights to people specifically, when you have to choose the government, when you are giving voting rights, so it is said that voting rights should be uh, in equality, okay, equality as in gender equality, women should also be given and men should also be given the similar rights. So again, this was history and a lot of things have changed after this. Okay, now because we are because when we see that some in some cases the rights are not given, we understand the value of rights. We understand what exactly is the value of rights which people actually deserve in a democratic country. Rights and democracy, when we talk about democracy, so rights are a must to ensure dignity. Why do we need rights? Okay, everybody wants to live a life whereby your future is secured whereby you are happy living in this particular country right so nobody wants to live in a country where violence is happening any day something can happen obviously we all want to you know live a life where we are secure we have dignity we are respected so again so when you talk about rights are must it is just a basic need 
ओके इट विल इंश्योर डिग्निटी ओके इट विल इंश्योर डिग्निटी ऑफ अ सिटीजन दैट यू आर रिस्पेक्टेड इट विल गिव यू सिक्योरिटी फेयर प्ले टू ऑल द सिटीजन लाइक एवरी वन शुड बी ट्रीटेड इक्वली right next democracy is a system in which maximum rights are guaranteed to its citizen and they are guaranteed how in a constitution the rights are laid down in a written format so it's not like tomorrow you have rights uh, but today you do not have right it's not like that every time you have rights you just they are claims you have to just claim it if anybody is hurting you right next is rights are reasonable claims of persons are recognized by society sanctioned by a law need rights in a democracy so now uh, these three words we have understood they are reasonable claims okay now reasonable now here we cannot say uh, we cannot claim any unreasonable thing it should be a very reasonable thing it should be a very you know thing which is again had some kind of reason okay nothing like out of the box i can have like okay so nothing vague i can ask from my government that give me this particular right also no and it should be recognized by society so as a society as a whole the society should you know recognize yes we should give uh, we should get like all this community all the society should receive in an equal manner it should be like uh, like it should be recognized by the entire society it's not like only a group wants this right and the other ones or the other people are not you know happy with it it should be together like it should be a collective recognize uh, recognition and sanction by law again then the sanction by law which means it should have a proper uh sanction yes this is a particular law now nobody can uh, you know uh, if you will violate it then you will get punishment that is why we call it as a sanctioned law and we definitely need rights in a democratic environment we de definitely need rights in a democratic society or a democratic country okay now rights sustain democracy rights actually give meaning to a democracy way by yes now it is justified now it is like yes it feels like we are living in a democracy when we have rights okay they give every citizen a right to vote and right to be elected to a government so same person like i can be a leader also and at the same time i can be a voter also so which means i have this right in the democratic country that i can become a leader because leaders are chosen by the people and from the people also okay they allow citizens to express their views freely from parties and take part in political activity now these parties are not the you know christmas parties you are talking about hereby we are talking about parties which are the political parties so whereby if any political party wants to express their opinion wants to express their ideas thoughts so they are okay to do so okay that freedom we are talking about here rights are guaranteed when things go wrong now rights basically are claims okay we can claim it when things are not going uh, right okay when things are actually someone is hurting me i'm not in the emotional way that someone is hurting in a very you know bad manner it is a violence going on i can claim my right from the government and i you know being a fellow citizen i am hurted by this person they do not allow the majority to dominate the minority so everyone should live equally everyone should live peacefully so it's the uh, you know it's our duty also in a democratic government that we should also take care the rights of others if we want that others should not you know violate our laws others should not violate or you know exploit us we should also have this duty that we should also not exploit or we should also not you know violate other people okay some rights are placed higher than government so that the government does not violate them again it's not only the people it's the government also it is uh, in a democracy the rights are given equality which means that either you are a prime minister or you are a normal rickshaw puller or you are just a normal teacher for a democratic government that right will be equal to every strata of people every status of the people they have equal rights okay let's see next what uh, yes so here by we have uh, fundamental rights now these rights are termed as fundamental rights now fundamental rights means these are the basic rights which form as a foundation of the entire democratic country right so the indian constitution here by we talk about indian constitution has given six fundamental rights okay has given six fundamental rights they are the basic features of indian or india's constitution okay first we'll understand here and then we'll understand obviously one by one in detail 
right to equality now right to equality means everyone is equal in the eyes of law in the eyes of law everyone is equal okay everyone will be treated as equal be it a prime minister or be it a normal citizen or you have you are uh, just you know living a normal life you are equal in the eyes of law okay gender equality every equality politically you are equal okay here we say political equality is given now when we say political equality hereby we believe that 18 plus that is universal adult franchise by the universal adult franchise you are given equal rights to vote for a particular you know government okay next right to freedom now hereby again when we are using the word freedom you are free to choose your own religion you are free to you know express your thoughts ideas but that should be reasonable okay okay that should be reasonable now i cannot say that um reasonable freedom okay when i cannot say that i will carry arms and armaments in an open area that is unreasonable freedom i cannot ask for that also reasonable freedom which means that your right to express your views your right to express your thoughts which should be reasonable next right against exploitation now again when we are talking about exploitation anybody is exploiting in in a manner whereby uh, children should not be exploited you know uh, using of child labor is banned and again uh, human trafficking that is a, that is exploitation of human beings that is banned so certain things are, are banned and whenever people are using all those kind of things you are again what you will be punished right to freedom of religion here we are following secularism okay in india we follow secularism okay and secularism means or secular state means that you can have uh, in india for example there are a lot of diversities you can follow whatever religion you want nobody will intervene the government will intervene only when something bad is happening like cultural and educational rights hereby we're talking about every person okay be it like you do not have a proper income you are given education right okay the government till 14 years of age it is free education to all also there are certain tribes when we talk about culture here there are certain tribes in india which are also given full equality okay full equality is given whereby obviously they are different in their language they're different in their culture they're different in their the food they eat they're different uh, whatever they are wearing okay but the government will not exploit them the government will not consider them as unequal the government will consider them consider them as equal that is why their rights are preserved next we talk about right to constitution remedies now one two three four five these rights are okay we understood this rights now these rights will come effect only when we have the sixth right this is known as the heart and soul of the heart okay this is known as the heart and soul of the constitution now why i am saying this it is the heart and soul of the constitution very big words we are using reason because all these five rights are of no use when we do not have a sixth right which means it will actually lead you to a remedy whereby if you want if some of the rights from the first five are exploited you can use sixth right okay whereby you can seek the constitutional remedy from all these rights okay so this actually right give you wings wings how they're actually giving you constitution whatever has been wrong with you whatever uh, you know you have felt bad in such a way so this particular uh, right constitutional remedy will give you exact remedy will give you exact platform whereby you can seek your you know uh, rights from whatever has happened with you so this is the right which is very important okay so let us understand one by one right to equality again it grants equality to all similar thing which you have done we are revising it again okay in the eyes of law similar thing i have said no discrimination can be made against any citizen on the grounds of birth caste okay religion and gender untouchability is made a recognizable offense nobody can discriminate you on the basis of untouchability nobody can actually do that it is a punishable offense 
equal opportunity is guaranteed to all now equal opportunity whenever we are talking about a government job or in a government sector everyone will be given equal opportunity next right to freedom again this is the first this is the second freedom it grants freedom to speech and expression okay assemble in a peaceful manner again things which are reasonable to form association to move freely in any part of the country in country india you can move freely nobody will question you reside in any part of the country your choice practice profession carry out any occupation or trade so that is your choice nobody will question you reasonable freedom okay then we talk about right against exploitation now the constitution prohibits constitution is the rule book of the country it prohibits traffic in human beings nobody can actually you know do trade of uh, human beings whether it's women whether it's men or children okay then prohibits forced labor or beggar or this is also known as slaves nobody can make you a slave this is your particular life nobody can make you a slave or a bonded labor slave or beggar means bonded labor okay okay next prohibit child labor you cannot you know a uh, higher labor specifically under the age of 14 years of age they are children basically right to freedom of religion as i said no state religion in india okay there is no official religion of india okay no official religion no national religion of india all religion are given equal respect and equal status every person has right to profess practice and propagate its own religion the government will not intervene the government will only intervene whereby some you know violation is happening some discrimination is happening then only government will intervene in the religion otherwise government will not intervene now culture and education as i told you minorities okay tribes minorities have right to conserve their own language and their culture they have right to establish their own educational institutions also for the poor strata of society government has given or uh, we can say free education to all okay next one is right to constitutional remedies now this is again as i told you this is the right that make all rights effective if a citizen's fundamental rights like the five rights are violated or taken away he or she can seek remedy through the court so this is known as constitutional remedy this is the sixth right which makes other rights they give its you know heart and soul that is why b r ambedkar okay bhim rao ambedkar has given bhim rao ambedkar has given this uh, name to this right as heart and soul heart and soul of the constitution okay now national human rights commission is an independent organization established in 1993 and its main work is, work is to focus on human rights the victims whose rights are violated specifically it is said that you know a, a lot of uh, human uh, rights organization are there to preserve the rights for specifically humans okay where they are victims of such such cases so this is this organization which is set up now expanding the scope of rights now see uh, fundamental rights are given right the five and the sixth one but people say that in a lot of uh, people and a lot of uh, even people who are associated with the political strata they believe that there should be more rights but government says that whatever rights are there in a detailed manner it kind of will fit in the fundamental rights so it is uh, by the a lot of people they want that there should be more rights to be given right so constitution offers scope to expand fundamental rights for example school education has become right for india indian citizens right to property is a legal right right to seek information from government office right to vote in elections now these we have expanded so if we talk about rights like the fundamental rights they are in a you know a very short summary like one shot we give you it's like in a one shot format but it's like when we open it when we expand it we will find a lot of rights inside them instead of giving a lot of rights okay making a big list of rights it's like we have made five fundamental rights and include all rights within them okay so international Con uh, covenant and economic social cultural rights this international covenant recognizes many rights for example right to work right to safe and healthy environment right to adequate standard of living right to social security right to health med medical care and also right to life uh, okay right to life so these are the rights which are now have 
now rights are so we have so many rights right and then the south african constitution also guarantees right to privacy adequate housing right to access health care sufficient food and water this is different this is south african constitution but when we talk about indian constitution we have also a wide variety of rights but which are clubbed into the fundamental rights all right so with this children we complete our chapter or we can say a brief description of the chapter which was very crisp very short and very you know effective in a very detailed manner okay so with this you can just have a look on this chapter any doubt you have you can write in the comment section all right bye bye children see you next time